2018, no rain. The year before, five months, no rain. So we started to look at um, how do we track water, what plants need water, which ones need um, food sources, something I developed years ago, food sources. Um, what, food, what do you mean by that? For, food sources is a great big, it's about, say for instance you've got a trunk this wide, yep. and the food saucer goes way out here. A food saucer? A food saucer, right. and it, it, just a mound of dirt that goes around, and it's like, um, and you put whatever you need to go in there. And so what I do is I start getting, I find dandelions, and I find all my fascinating weeds, um, and some herbs as well, and I cut them up just with secateurs, put them around, and then I put the water, I put water on top, wherever I can get water from. It could be the water out of the rice that I cook in the house. I'll put the water there. Uh, when you live on tank water, you learn to live with water. And so I'll just put the rice water or the pasta water um, in, in there. And what's happening, you're getting all the nutrition um, with the sun coming down, you're getting all the nutrition of that um, being released. And all of those different herbs and weeds have time to break down. And that's a, usually a six month period. So they're releasing all of their energy that six months. That could be enough to get a tree through a drought period of about five to six months. If it goes longer, like the seven months, you watch plants die, and that's heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. 